Hello, sixth grade artists. Let's draw in two point perspective. So the first thing we're gonna draw is our horizon. Your horizon line does not need to be exactly center in the page. It could be slightly higher or maybe slightly lower. I'm gonna put mine in the center of the page, but yours could be, could be up or down a little bit. So I'm gonna line up these little tick marks on my ruler with the edge of the paper so that I can ensure that my horizon is very light, or I'm sorry, very straight. I'm gonna draw a little bit harder lines. I'm gonna use a little bit harder pressure. Please use a gentle pressure because a lot of this line does end up getting erased. Okay, so we have our horizon and that shows where the sky and the land meet. So this is like the, as far as you can see on the earth. The other thing we need to do is add our vanishing points. So because this is two point perspective, we're gonna be adding two vanishing points to have the most realistic drawing. You wanna put your vanishing points as far away from each other as you can. So please get your horizon on the paper and your two vanishing points now. Awesome. So let's start with our first building. Now we're going to create a vertical line for where our very first, our closest building is. Now this line could be to the side, it could be to the center. I'm gonna put mine central, but it really can be anywhere along the horizon. So I'm gonna line up again, one of the tick marks on my ruler with the horizon line. And I'm gonna draw a nice, again, a light line. Mine's harder than yours should be, just so you can see it, through the horizon. Now, it doesn't really matter the length of this line. I'd say about four, four inches or so is good. If it gets any bigger, then the perspective looks a little off. And too small, you can't add any other details. So you're gonna draw that truly vertical line now. All right, great. So this is the closest corner of a building that we can see. To create the sides of the building, we're gonna use our vanishing points. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna line up, let me get my ruler to fit. You're gonna line up the ruler with your vanishing point over here. I like to put my pencil on top of the vanishing point and then kind of just slide my ruler where I need it to go. So I am connecting the top of my vertical corner to the vanishing point. Again, nice and light. Mine is probably harder than you should be drawing just so that you can see it. So the line starts at the top of my vertical line and connects all the way to the vanishing point. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with the bottom of the line. So again, I put my pencil on top of the vanishing point so I could line it up, make sure it's really lined up. And then we're gonna draw that line from the bottom to the vanishing point. All right, go ahead and do that now. Okay, so this shows the building going back in space. So as it gets farther away from us, it appears to be smaller. Now we have one side of the building, we need to add the other side. So just like before, let's put our pencil on top of the vanishing point and line up the top of our building with the vanishing point. And we're gonna draw a nice light line. Again, same thing on the bottom. The bottom of this vertical line connecting right to that vanishing point. So go ahead and draw those lines. So now you have this very long building stretching back in space both ways. All right, let's move on. We don't want our buildings to be this big. We want to have a little, we have, want to have more to our city. So we're going to add some vertical lines to kind of end our building. So the lines that we make are going to show the other edges of the building. So you're going to want to kind of decide how big you want your building to be. And then we're going to make sure our rulers are truly vertical. When I say truly vertical, it can't be leaning because that would not make sense. So make sure that these little lines on your ruler are all lined up with the edge of the paper so that you can draw a vertical edge for your building. So now this space right here is the left side of our building. We're gonna do the same thing on the right side. It doesn't have to be the same, it doesn't have to be equal. The two sides don't have to be equal spacing, but it does need to have straight lines. So once you draw those two lines, now we can erase the parts of the horizon that are behind my building. And we can also erase these lines on the top of 
So if we want our building just floating, we get rid of these two. All right, so complete your building so you're this far. All right, now we're going to repeat the steps so that we can add more buildings. This is the closest building. The first building you draw is the closest. We're gonna draw more buildings going back in space. So we're gonna repeat the steps again. The first step is going to be that vertical line. So I'm gonna make that vertical line. This is the corner of the next building. So making sure it's really vertical and lined up, I'm going to draw another line. Now the second step is to connect the top and the bottom of our vertical line to one of the vanishing points. So let's put our pencil on top of the vanishing point and line it up. So make sure it really connects to the vanishing point. We need to use those tools. So now we have the left side of our second building completed. Now the third step is to connect the top and the bottom of the vertical line to the opposite side vanishing point. Now this gets a little tricky because we have this other building kind of in the way. So what I like to do is put my pencil right on top of the vanishing point and I slide my ruler up so that it meets this top edge here. And now I don't need to draw this whole line because we know so much of it gets erased anyway. So I'm gonna start at my vanishing point this time and I'm gonna draw my line and stop when I get to my first building. So now I have the top right edge of my second building. Let's also line up the vanishing point with the bottom edge. So now we're gonna connect that and again, stop when you get to your first building. So we have the front right side of this building completed. The front left side of this building is still very long and we wanna make that a little shorter. So we need to add the fourth step, which is creating the vertical edge to stop this building. So I'm gonna make this building, I think that feels good to me. I'm gonna make sure this line is truly vertical and draw it and then now I can erase these parts that I no longer need, these guidelines. So your job today is going to be to, com to continue adding buildings going back in space. So remember the steps. Let's make a little building back here. Vertical. Connect to vanishing point. So top to vanishing point and bottom to vanishing point. And now let's connect the other side, top to opposite side vanishing point. Make sure you stop when you get to your, your building. That one's a little off, I think I'm gonna fix it. Gotta make sure it truly lines up. Oops. Okay, now the bottom, same thing. Find the vanishing point. Make sure your ruler is touching it. And then let's draw from the bottom to that building. We have to finish this building with one more vertical line. Make sure it's truly vertical, not leaning. And now we have another building. Let's get rid of those lines we don't need. And now we have three buildings in two-point perspective. Please continue to add buildings on this practice today.